Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech, and I'm here today to talk about From the Vault 20 and Perfect Fit Sleeves, and a little bit about Perfect Fit Sleeves generally. Uh, usually I highly recommend using Perfect Fit Sleeves. Uh, these are the sleeves that I usually pick up. They're about five, six dollars a pack. You get a hundred of them. And what I do is I put cards inside the Perfect Fit. This abrupt decay over here has a Perfect Fit on it. And then I slide those inside of normal card sleeves. Uh, this really cuts down on surface wear for cards and it also helps a lot if you put them in upside down on the Perfect Fit and then right side up on the regular card so that if any water, liquid, anything like that gets near your deck, you don't destroy a deck. Uh, my current vintage uh, deck has all of the cards in it done with this and I'm generally very, very happy. Uh, I ran into an issue though where I was doing a trade last week and somebody pointed out to me that Perfect Fits should never be used with From the Vault 20. Now this was kind of a surprise to me because I have picked up a few from the Vault 20s and have put most of them in perfect fits. And the foiling process in From the Vault 20 is very experimental and very, very weak, very fragile. Uh, I took out uh, two From the Vault 20s packs and opened them up yesterday. And for comparison, I took one of these Chameleon Colossuses, the one here on the inside, and I, let's see if we can get a good focus on it, I put it into and out of a perfect fit right about five or six times. And the other one um, just came out of the pack. So you can see there's a little bit of nicks here just from the kind of uh, small defects that you get in an average printing. But you compare that to this one that I just put into a perfect fit uh, four or five times, and there's a massive difference. The black on this other one is just starting to shear off entirely. The foiling process on From the Vault 20 is very poor. I love the cards they picked for the From the Vault set. I think it's their best set they put together so far, but I'm extremely disappointed that they clearly did not do some basic testing to see if this foil process was durable. I know a lot of people that use perfect fits who have probably taken what they think to be near mint jaces and knocked them down to SP or EX just by putting them into sleeves and taking them out. Uh, by contrast here, I'm going to show you another card that I put in a perfect fit probably 20-30 times. Um, this is a Boneyard Worm. It has absolutely no shearing on the side. Your standard foiling process leaves the card fully intact on that edge with black ink. The ink stays on when you use Perfect Fits. Now my guess is that this shearing off of the black ink is not exclusive to Perfect Fits. It's the fact that Perfect Fits are so tight that it happens faster. My guess is if you take these from the Vault 20 cards and put them into regular sleeves, five, six, seven, maybe even 10 or 15 times, just pulling them in and out of sleeves, you're gonna have that exact same effect. Uh, I'm, I'm very disappointed that these cards are so fragile for such a high-end limited print run set. And I hope that Wizards acknowledges the issues with this printing and uses an entirely different process in the future. It, it's disappointing to try to take care of your cards and see them destroyed by the mere process of putting them into sleeves. Thanks, this has been Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech. Uh, I'll be back a little bit later this weekend with something on a, a lot more of a fun side. I'm gonna do my first vintage deck tech here.